Hey, Mini Fash, 15th of May, 2019. And I just want to share with you a couple things here. The propaganda is just full force, okay? I'm just telling you that the amount of propaganda and lies that are spewing out of the mainstream media and out of government hacks is just unfathomable. And it's designed that way. It's designed to get people to become so overwhelmed with all this chaos that they simply turn inward and, and open a beer and turn on the TV. They don't want to hear it. The government will take care of everything, right? Well, they're pushing us towards this war. And it's not just going to be, you know, another walk in the park with no uh, residual effects, you know, here in the United States. This is coming home, and it's coming soon. This is what they're building up to. And it's very strange, but, you know, when I was doing that video the other day, and I was showing you how it related to the Iran hostage crisis, you know, the 444-day ordeal 40 years ago, well, Jimmy Carter was the president throughout this ordeal. In fact, this whole episode ended on the very last day of Jimmy Carter's presidency, if you can wrap your mind around that. So it's all connected. It's a spiritual war that's just manifesting in the natural. And we're just trying to do the best we can through the Spirit of God to try and get the truth out there and get people to understand that if you're not in the Spirit of God through Jesus Christ, that you will be deceived and devoured and destroyed it's just the way it is okay but what's really really strange is after just after talking about this that very same day president jimmy carter breaks his hip okay going turkey hunting of all things this is crazy so jimmy carter breaks his hip going turkey hunting the same day that we're talking about iran and he was the man in charge but what a lot of people don't know is that Jimmy Carter was the only president that actually was a Navy submariner, okay? And they actually named a submarine after him. Not just any submarine, but a Sea Wolf class submarine, which there are only three. And the Jimmy Carter happens to be SSN 23, <laughs> okay? The 23 again. In the 741, a commenter pointed this out to me. That if we were to take that 741, right? And turn it around. 147 and add them together. You get exactly 888. Remember how we got the 666? This is just how this spiritual war operates. It's it's not something that we're just able to spread out in front of us and know exactly what's going on because the world is just dumping nothing but lies and deceit on the whole world. And it's designed intentionally that way to keep people completely and utterly confused. So now they're telling us a drone that was backed by Iran is attacking Saudi oil pipelines and they display one of these toys I guess this was a dud but they have to just push their propaganda in front of the people and like I say people are just gonna roll over and accept whatever they say because they're tired of it they can't handle this because they don't need God they don't believe that there is a father in heaven who actually wants you to turn to him so that he can give you the truth and save your soul. People just don't want to believe it. And it's insane to me. But if you look around, there's no denying what's going on here. I mean, there's some serious stuff coming down, people. Russian subs can now nuke a city without leaving the port. Not only that, they're telling us that they're, they're new submarines. These, these things, they're loading them up with doomsday devices. Everybody's probably heard about this, but it's just part of the propaganda. But the problem is, is these things are real. And they're going to tell you one thing as they do another in order to lead the entire world into their new world order. Because all these world leaders work together. 
I mean, come on, go look at NASA and all the space stuff. They're chummy and working together. It's, it's, it's a giant cabal. This is all it is. You know what I mean? And these uh, Sea Wolf class submarines are incredibly deadly. They're designed specifically to sneak in somewhere, do some damage, and sneak out. Nobody knows the wiser. No one ever knows where these things are. And there's only three of them. And Jimmy Carter happens to be number 23. Okay? I mean, seriously now. And we can go through all the propaganda and just one thing after another. Their newest submarines are... Look at this guy, this general, Jack Keane. Iran is trying to destabilize the Middle East. Look at this dude. War hawks, man, and they all serve the same master. That's the issue here. You're either on one side or you're on the other. And this is going down. And it's funny, yesterday at the same time, we had a 7.5 quake in uh, New Guinea and a 6.3 in the Philippines, which this one actually killed a bunch of people. 16 so far. 6.3 earthquake. So there's a lot going on. There's a ton of stuff going on. There was an article I saw yesterday. These these sabotage things are just that. They are sabotaging themselves in order to excuse a war with Iran. That's all this is. So the article I saw was about 5G. New York Times, not to change the subject, but I just thought you might get a kick out of this. Your 5G phone won't hurt you. But Russia wants you to think otherwise. New York Times, mind you. I think Jeff Bezos owns that, doesn't he? He's the guy that's going to build cities in space, and you can trust him. And you can trust the New York Times, too. I mean, you had RT coming out and actually telling some truth <laughs> about 5G. But the New York Times, this, these, are, these are supposed to be Americans, right? They're telling you 5G won't hurt you. They don't explain anything about it in this article except attack RT. And they're telling you the truth about the 5G. It's just insane. So, you know, I just show you this stuff, you guys. I mean, times are just incredibly insane. If you're not in Christ, you're not walking in that spirit, you're going to be deceived. I just wish you'd understand that. If you don't know Christ, seek him out. you got to have a humble and sincere love of the truth for it to be revealed to you. This is no foo-foo stuff. This is your eternal soul we're talking about. You understand? And there's one more thing I want to point out that's really, it's kind of funny. I had uh, Richie from Boston gave me a solid. He's sent people to my channel a few times, and I really appreciate him doing that. The fact of the matter is, is both him and I and all of us are just trying to get the truth out that's all we want is the truth, as flawed as we are, <laughs> and I am the captain of flaws. You know, Richie's a man, just like I'm a man. None of us are perfect, not one. You understand? He's a brother in Christ, flaws and all. It's just the way it is, people. If you don't understand that, I mean, I got people telling me here that that Richie is a Jew tranny controlled opposition Jew alt media man. <laughs> I mean, this is crazy. Saying that I refuse to expose that Jews are not Semite, not Israel. Apparently, this Tracy, uh, whatever that is, Miss Tracy No Content, um, has never watched my videos or Richie's videos. I've called out Israel uh, all the way back to King Solomon when the real Masonic. Uh, satanic stuff got a foothold in Israel and it never left and that's who's running Israel right now the Jews that say they're Jews but they're not and now they're feeding us all this propaganda they're leading you to a war and you got to be ready for this stuff physically mentally and above all spiritually if you don't know Christ Jesus you better get to it he'll hear you if you're humble and sincere and you really want the truth and you can't be afraid of the truth. So, I just show you this stuff. That just blew me away that we were just talking about the Iran crisis. Jimmy Carter breaks his hip. And it turns out that Jimmy Carter is Sea Wolf Class Submarine number 23. And no one knows where it is. Ironically enough, I wonder where it could be.
I'm sure it's out there doing just stellar work for democracy around the world, right? Excuse my sarcasm, but I'm fed up with this stuff. I'm tired of it. And you people, these false accusations are going to be answered for. You better understand that. Peace and grace to you, many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 